To write the formula for sulfur dibromide, we first need to figure out what type of compound we have. If we look at the periodic table here, we can see sulfur, that is a nonmetal, and then bromine, that's also a nonmetal. Two nonmetals means that we have a molecular, also called covalent compound, so we don't need to worry about the ionic charge. But we do need to consider these prefixes here when we write the formula for sulfur dibromide. We'll first write S for sulfur, and then we have dibromide. So we have Br, that's the bromine atom, and this di, di means two. So it'll be SBr2, and that's the formula for sulfur dibromide. So note that we don't put mono in front of sulfur, even though we only have one sulfur. For the first element in a molecular compound, when we write the formula, we don't put mono out here. If you need some help memorizing these prefixes here, this table should help you do that. This is Dr. B with the formula for sulfur dibromide, SBr2. Thanks for watching.